Hey, are you a woman who's looking to really level up and just reinvent yourself right now? I did that eight years ago, and let me tell you, it's been a so wild doing this, stepping ride. up and taking control of your life right now, especially as a woman, is really, really important physically, financially, spiritually, emotionally. And today's vlog, I'm going to share with you three must do's if you're looking to launch or relaunch your business in 2023. <laughs> Hey, hey, Christine here for episode number two of my weekly vlog. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about three must do's if you are starting a business or relaunching a business. I'm 51. And, and I see so many women out there that are kind of hanging around on the fence. They're not quite ready to really level up and step up. Now, I understand there's a few things working against us at this age, menopause being one of them. And I want you to stay tuned because next week I'm going to talk specifically about this. I'm going to give you some episodes epic fitness tips, some health tips, some supplement tips to really help you get through um, what is kind of a crazy time. What are these must do? And look, business and has changed. When I started network marketing eight years ago, we used to do silly, crazy things like going to the shopping center, trying to start conversations with people. It was a bit crazy. We also went to network meetings and we also had home meetings. Okay. But I'm going to talk to you a little bit about video marketing and you're probably fully aware of video marketing. You're watching this video right now. Okay. But I'm going to share with you something very, very cool that I am doing next week. So make sure you stay okay. to so, the end. What are these three must do's? Must do number one is taking back your confidence. Now I talked a lot about confidence and what it actually means last week in episode number one. And you will find that I like to talk a lot about confidence because it's actually the biggest transformation that I've had personally. And in terms of my own business in the last eight years has been confidence. And it's made every single difference for me. It's really, really amazing when you feel confident. And why is that important when you are launching or relaunching a business? Well, Here's the deal. If you feel confident, you probably have a high belief in not only yourself, but your business, your product, your service, whatever it is that you're doing. And when you have a high belief in confidence, you will also feel postured. And what does posture mean? It means that like I have terrible posture right now because I'm leaning over. But what I actually mean is you show up in your relationships, conversations, your interactions with people feeling like a badass. And that's what we, that's what I want to teach you here, right? Feeling like a badass. In other words, people will be uh, compelled to lean in and listen to what you have to say because people want to follow, people want to join, people want to um, uh, buy from and hang out with and build business with people who know where they're going. They want to do that with people who are confident, who have high belief, who know what they're doing, right? That's leadership, okay? So confidence is huge and there's a lot of ways to take back your confidence. Talked about that last week. I'm going to talk about way more again next week because it does have a physical, it has a spiritual, it has a financial component to it, but taking back your confidence so that you ooze energy, that you uh, ooze posture, right? This is really important when you're an entrepreneur because, hey, there's some serious up and downs as an entrepreneur. Those of you who are already in business will understand exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so must do number two is niching down and branding yourself. So if you want to get into business, I mean, there's a lot of things we can talk about here, but you creating a brand for yourself is really important. Why? Because social media is a busy place now. It's a competitive place in many regards, okay? And there was a time where we could show up and, you know, throw up a few before and after photos and like talk about all things, but now that's not a very effective strategy. Right now, you need to really hone in on who you're having a conversation with. Like, who do you want to help? Who do you want to do business with? Who do you want to impact and serve, right? Because now's the time for many of us when we're kind of like, okay, we've been impacting and serving our family for a really long time. Now we want to step out, step up and really serve at a bigger level. So who is that person that you want to serve, right? If you're lucky, it's probably women. Who is that woman you want to serve? And here are four things that you can sit down and work on right now to figure out who she is. First of all, figure out who she is. Like, who is she? Where does she hang out? What does she like? What does she not like? What does she wear? What does she dress like? Where does she hang out on social media? Does she read magazines? Does she love to cook? Is she married? She's probably a mom. Uh, what she do for work if she does work? Is she already running a business? You get the idea, right? So who is she? And then four things that you need to map out. Number one, what are her challenges? Like what are her biggest pain points in her life right now? What keeps her up at night like in a bad way, right? What does she really struggle with? Is it her weight? Is it lack of finances? Is it her mindset? Is it her self-confidence? What are her challenges? Number two, you want to figure out what are her dreams and goals? What does she want? What is she working towards? Is she working towards a health goal? Is she working towards retiring a husband? Is she working towards uh, making income so that she can stay home with kids? Maybe that was me. Uh, what else does she dream about? What's her big goal, right? Maybe she wants to 
to like build her empire like a badass. Maybe she wants to get on stage. You get the idea. Number three, what inspires her? Who inspires her, right? Where does she hang out? What sort of inspirational quote would really just set her heart on fire, right? Um, and if you know who she's inspired by, right? Maybe it's Oprah, maybe it's uh, your favorite influencer, I don't know, but go to those people and figure out what they are doing and saying to inspire people. And last one, figure out what makes her laugh. And this is kind of new, I didn't always talk about humor, but humor is so important, especially nowadays when the world's a little bit crazy, like who else doesn't love to laugh, okay? And if you are 50, like me, there is so much to laugh about right now. Am I right or am I right? There's so much to laugh about right now because we as 50 year olds care less right? We care less about what people think. We're a little bit less serious. Maybe we can laugh and, and just have fun. So humor is huge, right? So I would sit down and do those things and really niche down and figure out how you're going to serve your audience. Really, really important if you're launching or relaunching a business right now. So must do number three, what is it? Can you guess? I'm doing it right now. It's video marketing, more specifically short video marketing. And I'm amazed because I have a community over on Facebook and I have conversations all the time with women and many of them are not doing any video marketing at all. And I'm floored by that because in case you hadn't noticed, everything is about video marketing, short videos, even longer videos still like this one or Facebook live video marketing is where it's at. Why is it important if you're launching or relaunching a business? Well, it creates know, like, and trust really fast. It will help you create influence really fast. Like, just think of it. Somebody reads something versus you show up in their stories, having a conversation, looking at them, talking to them, and they're thinking, wow, she's talking right to me, and she's talking exactly my language. She's, she's talking about the things that I, I really, really want. Do you see what I mean? You can create influence fast. You can create know, like, and trust fast by doing video marketing. But sometimes it requires a little bit of mind shift work. Sometimes it requires a little bit of confidence to show up on video. There's still a lot of people who are afraid to do this. So I am actually running a free masterclass, Ignite Your Inner Influencer, over on my free community on Facebook. So look, I'd love to get you in there if you want to, first of all, understand how you can get confidence and change the narrative for yourself so that you can feel ready to step up in front of the camera. And then number two, of course, I'm gonna to wanna to give you all the hottest trends, strategies, and a really simple template, literally a step-by-step -step template that you can use for every single short video. So I hope you enjoy today's vlog. Remember, free resources below, you can grab that. And I'll also put the link towards my free community if you wanna jump in and join us next week. We're gonna have a ton of fun. See ya.